I'm Dr. Mehmet Oz. I host a television show, The Dr. Oz Show. I have a magazine called The Good Life. I work with ShareCare, along with Jeff Arnold, who's our WebMD, and I'm based in New York City. I'm excited about how we're going to disrupt medicine in a good way by allowing patients to truly own their own data. And because they have their own information, they'll be able to go to their doctors, inform you about what's going on. The doctors can be even better teachers because the word doctor does mean teacher. And you'll have an interaction that actually leads to better results. More importantly, we'll be able to use some of the digital technologies that are out there, special mobile, to track things that are happening in your life, subtle things, so that we can touch you every single day and remind you how to be a little bit better about how you're taking care of yourself. Whether it's a, an app for your voice that tells me how much stress you're experiencing or a tool that allows me to, to, to facilitate the searching of a symptom cause you may have, or frankly, just a matter of you finding a better uh, caregiver and within medicine. If we can inspire you to realize you're the world expert in your own body, you'll truly be able to live the good life. The big challenge if you want to make medicine better is you've got to build an ecosystem for people to play. And if you don't have an ecosystem or a sandbox people can collaborate in, they all go in their own ways and you balkanize your efforts. But if we can get everyone playing together, we'll be able to do in medicine what's already happened in technologies offered by Apple or Amazon or Google. will allow people to know what the rules are of engagement and now we have all the data flowing into the same place. And with that, we can begin to use artificial intelligence, assisted intelligence, even more uh, cleverly. And by doing that, allow clinicians to be better by supporting them, but also allow patients to understand what's really happening to them and make sure they get the most current, up-to-date care possible. The whole battle is about customizing care for you. When I talk to people on the Dr. Oz show, I've got millions of folks listening, but I've got to be careful because we're all different. Imagine if in your hand you controlled access to what's going on in your body, told through your medical records with all the information your doctor or nurse can add to it, plus information you've gotten in there, maybe because you added it, maybe because the system tracked it for you. But by customizing the advice you're getting to what your body needs the most, we're actually going to be able to support you in a way that you need help the most. Doing that will take a little effort. That's the big challenge, but I know we can make it happen. Hey, it's Dr. Oz. I come to Digital Pharma East because this is where the action is when it comes to transacting with people I care about the most. The folks who watch my show and, and who need help in America because people need advice on health. They can get it from magazines and television shows. I know. I offer it. But they also need to hear it in their hands when they're ready to get it, uh, when they're asking the right questions to hear it, the right answers. And that's why digital medicine is going to allow us to customize and personalize medicine as never experienced before.